Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to position your app as hope during the coronavirus, during an economic downturn, during a potential recession versus growth and what that means. I'm Kristen Youngs, co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps, where we help business owners and industry experts build custom apps to start or grow their businesses. So what do I mean when I say position your app as hope versus growth? Well, right now, because of the coronavirus and the challenges the world is facing, uh, many businesses are having to shut down or slow down. You've seen that happening all around you. Now, as an app founder, you don't want to have to slow down or shut down. And right now is the time when you can be positioning yourself to grow a long-term asset versus just having an app idea. And it's all in how you talk about your app to your target market or to your potential users. Now, First, I want to preface that positioning your app does not involve misleading or deceiving your target market at all. It involves you taking the same solution you are already going to be providing in the form of an app and talking about it in a way that highlights how it can serve your target market in the immediate to help solve their immediate problems in order to provide hope for long-term growth. Think about it like this. Let's say you are the owner of a, a nursery and you sell uh, fruit trees. You sell seeds to plant fruit trees. Just go with it. <laughs> and let's say you come across someone who is hungry. They're starving. They're, they're malnourished. They haven't eaten in days. You come across them. Would you offer them seeds to go and plant an apple tree so that they could grow it in them and then feed themselves consistently later on? No, of course not. You would give them an apple to feed them right then. Maybe you would give them the seeds to plant the trees after that, after they're fed right now, so that they could then look towards growth, so that they could even have the hope of growth because their immediate problem has been solved. All right, so think about your app in the same way. So what I'm gonna do is open up my whiteboard here. Okay. So we're gonna draw this out. Just minimize myself. All right. So you need to be talking about your app in different ways based on whether we're experience a time, experiencing a time of growth or a time of recession. And of course this applies now, but this is always applicable right? Because we're always going to face ups and downs, uh, whether that is on a global scale, on a national scale, on an industry scale, whatever it may be, ups and downs are always going to happen. So we're going to talk about some different ways you can talk about the same exact app, but for times of growth versus times of recession. So we're going to put over here, hope. Okay. So let's say your app is an all-in-one solution that is going to replace a number of different apps businesses currently use to operate. Okay, so let's say businesses in your industry currently use, you know, 10 different software programs to help run their operations. Let's say those software programs cost $24,000 a year. Now your app is a solution that will combine and replace all those different softwares. And you know, maybe it's lower cost, right? So the way you're positioning yourself is a lower cost all-in-one solution to streamline these businesses' operations. So during a time of growth, you might say, hey, my app is going to save your business $24,000 in operating costs per year. That's pretty enticing, 
right? What could a business do if they had $24,000 back per year? What does that look like over a time span of five years, 10 years? What could they do with that extra capital in order to grow their business in other ways, right? That's very growth minded. Now, during a time of recession, you can offer the same exact solution, but you can position it as uh, an immediate solution to their immediate pain in a way that gives them hope that they can come back and see growth, you know, after they are uh, out of the recession. So with the same app, this all in one solution, you might say, hey, my app is going to streamline uh, all the different softwares you're currently using and it's going to save you $2,000 in the next four weeks. Okay, so for a business, especially right now, who might be slowing down or struggling, which one sounds better, right? Remember, we're offering the same exact solution, but which one sounds better to that business? Saving $2,000 within the next four weeks, right? Within the next 28 days, I'm going to have an extra $2,000 back or saving $24,000 per year. Well, right now, those businesses probably aren't thinking, oh, how much money can I save a year from now? They're thinking, how can I operate right now during this time of recession so that I can have the hope of seeing this type of growth later on? Okay, so you can see same solution, different position. All right, let's do another one. So let's say that your app helps companies in your market increase their customer retention. So I'm gonna help you increase your customer retention by 25% annually, okay? Now, that's very growth-minded. You're increasing their customer retention by 25% annually. That's, uh, it's a long term vision. Okay, during a time of recession, when you need to be solving their immediate problem and giving them hope, you might say, Hey, I'm going to help you keep your customers right now. While your business is having to um, shut its doors. Maybe it's a physical business. It's having to close down right now. It's having to let go of some employees, right? It's, it's otherwise not able to operate right now. If you were to go to that business and say, hey, I can help you increase your customer retention by 25% per year, they're gonna look at you like you're crazy. But if you take your same solution and you go to them and you say, hey, I'm gonna help you keep your customers right now so that you can stay open. You could have the same exact solution, but you're positioning it in a much different way. One is growth minded. One is fixing the problem right now and then giving them hope that then they could retain those customers annually, right? You're giving them hope for future growth, but you're fixing their problem right now. All right, let's do one more. Let's say your app helps, uh, automate processes in a business and it could save a business hundred thousand dollars per year in uh, salary expenses so let's say maybe right now they are outsourcing certain tasks to um, assistants right so hey my app is going to save you a hundred thousand dollars per year in salary or right outsourcing expenses. That's growth minded. It's a big number. It's a long term goal. Okay. But during times of recession, you could talk about it in a different way that's more immediate. You could say, hey, um, you know, you might be forced to lay off your employees right now. But my app can help keep your business running. Right? because it's going to help you automate tasks that your employees were doing beforehand. 
So my business or my app is just going to help your business continue running right now. Same solution, right? Your app is automating tasks that would otherwise be outsourced or spent on maybe an assistant. So in the short term, you know, for a company who maybe is having to uh, lay someone off or lay off their employees and, and that's, you know, forcing them to struggle to stay open, you could say, hey, my app is going to automate those tasks for you. It's going to allow you to stay open right now so that later on you can look back and save, right, all this money. You can look towards this growth. So, you know, you can see how positioning your app the same app you're already going to be building, right? Your app idea isn't changing. It's just the way you position it. And, you know, keep in mind that we're talking about this right now because we're experiencing so many changes in the world. Uh, the coronavirus is, is going on and it's forcing people to stay inside, forcing businesses to make a lot of changes. You know, it's it's forcing uh, economies to really struggle right now. But when I say right now, the reality is that uh, right now is sort of the foreseeable future, right? It's it's the next three to six months at least, and that's conservative. So you may not be building your app yet. You may not be. You, maybe you've started, but you're not. You know, you're not ready to launch it yet that's okay because you can still position yourself uh, as hope right now in the next three, six, nine, 12, however many months, you know, this goes on and however long it takes to pick back up, you can still position yourself this way. Now, you know, during, uh, I'm gonna make my screen a little bit bigger, during recessions and economic downfalls. Most people aren't, you know, business as usual. Um, some stop progressing altogether. Some stop and stall and they, you know, try to wait it out, right? You might have heard people say that, oh, I'm just going to try to wait it out. Now, these are, these are the businesses or the people who are going to struggle the most, the people who are just trying to wait it out. The ones who are going to come out on the other side, not only stronger, but in a uh, more prepared way for the next time they're faced with challenges, which is going to happen, right? That's, that's inevitable. Um, you know, those are the ones who are adapting. They're creatively adapting right now. And by positioning yourself as a market leader who can, number one, solve their immediate problem, but number two, uh, turn that, that adaptation, right? Your solution is helping them adapt. So number two, turn that adaptation into growth for those companies or those users on the other side. You can become the leader in your market that everyone comes to because you're the one solving the immediate need and giving them hope for growth in the future when most people aren't right most people aren't positioning their self, themselves in that way but you can and you can help these struggling businesses or these industries these these users consumers you can help them uh have that hope to look for growth or to to even you know be thinking about growth in the future so this is kind of like um one of our clients peers um this is what he's done really well so his app helps uh it helps uh physical businesses um reach their user bases or reach their members or their customers via his app. Now, right now, because of the coronavirus, most of those businesses are having to shut their doors completely. So um, Piers, you know, the app he was building prior to all this happening, it was positioned for growth 100% to help these businesses in his industry grow long term. 
But because of everything that's happening, he changed how he was positioning himself. He positioned himself as hope because he was able to say, hey, your immediate problem right now is that your customers aren't able to come into your physical business. I can help you with that. I can help you, you know, if you can't physically keep your doors open, I can help you figuratively keep your doors open so you can keep operating. Now, what did that do? Well, number one, it gives them hope. Oh, wow, a solution that's gonna help me stay open when I'm otherwise forced to shut my doors, right? And not actually be at my physical business location. And number two, you know, for all the businesses who he is providing an immediate solution to, who do you think they're gonna turn to when they can start looking back to growth? Probably the person, the founder, the app that gave them the hope in the first place. All right, if you know your app idea can serve your market if you know your app idea can solve an immediate solution and then help push your, your market towards growth later on, we may be able to help. Uh, just go to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash apply to start a conversation and see if we can help you build the product that can serve as the immediate solution and then growth for your market later on. All right, thanks for watching. I hope that's helpful for you and we will talk soon.